Yo, what's going on guys? Is Pure Gamer here again with another episode of Dragon Ball Super Episode Reviews. And man, episode 66, dude. If you haven't fucking seen it, you better go fucking watch it now because... That was, that was a fucking good finale, man. That was a really fucking good finale of that episode. Today's episode, we're going to go ahead and talk about what had happened from beginning to end, pretty much, as best to my ability from what I can pick up, and also kind of this big plot hole that everyone probably is kind of mad about. Uh, by the time you're watching this, it's, mo it's Monday, like I always upload these videos, and by then, you know, people have already talked about it, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it anyway, because I'm, I'm mean, I can do what the fuck I want. But anyways... Start off the episode of episode 66 Dragon Ball Super, where basically it, uh, the narrator is talking about what happened in the last episode. Uh, Trunks and Vegeta had shot off the Gallic gun, and uh, that didn't work. Goku shoots off his Kamehameha, and uh, he, you know, he was just trying to hold off the fucking huge key blast when Zamasu defused uh, Zamasu. And um, in the next episode, it pretty much carries on to what happened at that very, very moment in time. And Goku manages to pull, uh, push back the key blast to best of his ability, and uh, we end up getting a we end up getting a quick glance of Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken again, which is, which is a treat, and hopefully we get to see more of that in the near future. Uh, hopefully, like I said. But um, yeah, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, we see that, and you know, uh, if you guys watched the preview of what had happened to Zamasu uh, from the last episode for the preview of episode 66. You saw that Zamasu, the fused body of Zamasu, half of it was like like all purplish and gooey and stuff like that. We found out the reason why uh, why that was the deal. And the reason why is because it is the body of both, uh, both Zamasus, right? Zamasu and Goku's body that he had uh, transferred over his, his essence and all that. And then Zamasu from the future Trunks' timeline. What happened was that only one half of him was pretty much immortal. Whilst one was healing, one was basically turning into that, which was very weird. And basically, yes, half of him was immortal, half of him wasn't immortal. He was, a, he was mortal the whole time. And basically, he was, way too more, he was way too powerful for pretty much anybody to fight against. And so the only resort that he had to go with was using the Batar Fusion uh, from the Supreme Kai from Universe 7, and then we get to see Vegito all over again, like from Dragon Ball Z. And that is just fan service all in itself, but before we get to talking about the fight of uh, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and, Go and uh, Goku Black, I'm sorry, um, Zamasu, the fused Zamasu, um, here's the plot hole I was talking about, just, uh, just, uh, just like a minute ago. Why is it the fact that when Gawasu, uh, or when Goku asked Gawasu uh, why they had unfused back when they were fighting Super Buu uh, with uh, Gohan, go take some Piccolo Absorb? Why was it that Gawasu had said that, oh, because you're not a Kai, uh, you only get to have the fusion for an hour. As if you were, as if you were a Kai, you stay like that forever. That is the biggest fucking plot hole piece of shit thing I have ever fucking seen in, in fucking Dragon Ball ever. Because the Supre the Elder Kai, the Elder Supreme Kai himself, back in Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Z, if you want to go watch that fucking episode where he literally said it, you can go ahead and fucking do that. He literally said it himself that once you fuse with the Patara, you can't unfuse unless you decide to uh, wish yourself to be unfused with the Dragon Balls of any kind of Dragon Ball. It doesn't really matter what you use. Or if, you, or if it was some form of magic, like how it was for Vegeta back in Dragon Ball Z, when he was in the body of of uh, Buhan, basically, uh, or Super Buu. Why is it that now we're told that you only have the fusion for a fucking hour? That's a plot hole. It seems like a plot hole to me, and I want to know what you guys think about that. So go leave comments right now uh, discussing why that is or not. But that, that's a whole other video for another day. We'll get to that. Maybe, maybe we'll get that to another time. And I say maybe because I said I was going to make a video on Goku Black. 
I might actually end up doing it now because it will happen in, later on in the episode, but we'll get to that later. But Vegito, the Goku and uh, Vegeta, they fused, you know, they create Vegito, and he's talking to, to Zamasu. He's like, yo, where did the, where did the body of uh, Vegeta and Kakarot, known as Vegito, and this is Vegito Blue or Super Saiyan Blue? Vegito, and that's that's just fan service in itself. You know how many fucking universe mods there were for just fucking Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Gogeta and stuff like that. Pretty fuck it's pretty fucking awesome, and the fact that we get to see it in Dragon Ball Super was awesome, and I really enjoyed it. Um, of course, you know because it's Vegito, he's fucking insanely powerful. You know, and being a Super Saiyan Blue, that makes him even more fucking strong. And then for whatever reason, it, they already had skipped over a fucking hour, and they had unfused from fighting Tomasu the whole time. Which also, he got, he grew, like, bigger in height, for whatever reason. And the per and he had, like, this big fucking purplish arm, which looked weird, but kind of cool at the same time, if you think about it. But, um, they, it, it, uh, Zamasu grew bigger in height, for whatever reason, and then... <laughs> uh, what I found really funny was, um, as Zamasu was trying to use his, uh, his psionic blade from his, uh, from his left arm, uh... Vegito uh, hits Zamasu with a spirit sword. And he's like, "Hey, I can do this too." And I thought that was I thought that was uh, very funny of the voice actors to, uh, to say. And I don't know, I, I really like that scene. But um, we go ahead and continue on with the episode. They unfuse, right? They unfuse, and then uh, we're like, we're like, oh, we're fucked. But what? I, uh, but previously, before that, uh, Trunks is like, "Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and go fight them." You know, I'm gonna go ahead and go fight them because I got my sword that had been broken. But no, nah, I'm just gonna create like a whole beam like over it so I can actually at least try to do fucking something and at least, you know. And the way he got he got his his old fucking broken sword hilt or whatever. But because my and Bulma show up with the fixed time machine and go, oh, well the time machine's fixed, so that's that's something. But uh no, he's like, okay, I'm gonna go fight them because you know, I'm I'm trunks and I can fight anybody because I'm a badass and I'm a prodigy. <laughs> So he goes and fights them, uh, he notices that fucking Goku and Vegeta, they're unfused, and he's like, yo, I'm gonna go ahead and fight you, and he's holding his own, he's holding his own, uh, somehow, I don't know how, but he was, and then something was going on, it was almost in the sense of a spirit bomb, and it was very weird, what's happening was, is that the power and just of all living mortals that were left on the planet, uh, that we know, uh, all the mortals that we that we see on the planet, they basically have their power transferred into like this big fucking glowing light in the sky. It was it was a pretty amazing scene. I like I liked the animation the whole time. It was very very good. And um, basically every single living thing that was left there, the power of the mortals were all put into one blade, and that was Chunks' blade, and that blade itself. Had had put a, a blade slash within the fused Zamasu, and he was destroyed. And we won. We fucking won. We did it. We fucking beat Zamasu in black. It's over. Our hope is back. Our all hope is back. And it was, that was a really, I really liked that scene. That may have, that may have been my favorite scene of the episode and the, the finale itself was awesome. You could probably go find that scene on YouTube somewhere. Uh, just go ahead and just look up Dra Dragon Ball Super Episode 66 and you'll probably find it. Uh, but no, we go ahead and end we end it off and then uh, the credits. Of course, there's the credits, whatever. Uh, let me know if you like the song. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of getting used to it, especially now that I'm going to start watching the previews to the next episode because, uh, because I'm fucking stupid and, and whatever. Anyways, uh, the next episode... We, uh, it's titled like something about hope and then farewell trunks and that's just obvious a sign that they're gonna go back uh, to the past to their normal timeline while trunks stays in the future because that's where he lives of course right and then uh, but something that really particularly caught my eye was the fact that uh, the Omni King Zeno or uh, or the king of all as uh, they said Back in the in the tournament from in Dragon Ball Super, uh, he's he's it seems like he's gonna be there in the next episode, which is uh, gonna be fairly interesting. And uh, we also get to see Whis and Beerus again, 
and let's just see what happens. And that's all I'm gonna really say. But um, uh, it's it's been 10 minutes. Uh, that's usually around the time where I, I like to try to end it. Uh, but that's that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about, basically, in just in about a 10 to 15 minute video. If you guys enjoyed this episode, of Dragon Ball Super episode reviews, uh, be sure to leave a like and uh, leave a comment uh, saying why uh, why you think that the Vegito one hour fucking fusion bullshit is bullshit. Uh, go ahead and just discuss that in the comments. I'm actually very very, very interested in what you uh, think about that because, like I said, that seems pretty bullshit and it seems like a, a very huge plot hole that kind of needs to be explained maybe a little bit, but I'll go watch fucking, excuse me, I'll go watch fucking Kingdom 101 and see what you think about it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, like I said, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to content like this and also with future Xenoverse and pretty much Call of Duty anything. Just anything in general of, of what I feel like to upload and future streams as well because I plan to start streaming very, very soon again with uh, probably Mono One for Remastered with a couple friends of mine probably this, this next weekend. But anyways, like I said, subscribe, like, uh, yeah, have a wonderful day and uh, peace out.